Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. The operation of the kingdom defines the scope of the way God does his things. When you know God and you understand the system of the kingdom, then you will know why certain things are necessary. Praise the Lord. If you try to just copy, you may not be able to communicate the light that comes from that revelation. But when it is born out of a depth of understanding, then you will be able to guide people and they will receive breakthroughs in their lives. Are you following me now? And, and the Bible says God made many stars. Have you read that in Genesis? Right? And part of the ministry of those stars is that as the constellations over the earth, they are supposed to help men understand signs and seasons. Praise the Lord. Is that all the volume, please? Um, so if you understand that God made constellations to guide us into understanding times and seasons, that should tell you that the program of God is very specific and very seasonal. Are you getting my point? God does not just do anything anytime. No, no, not at all. Although he dwells in the realm of eternity, right? When it comes to operating the principles of his kingdom here on earth, he subscribed to times and seasons. And so when the prophet will speak to the woman, he say, according to the time of life. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit. When? In season. So there is a season. Praise the Lord. And it is important, one of the many things that happens when a season comes is that the graces, the mantles, the understandings and the, the communications of the spirit that will guide people into walking in sync with the program of God for that season is communicated to them. And let me tell you something, the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is not signs and wonders, you see. The apostolic ministry is a dispensational ministry. The true proof of an apostolic ministry is the ability to, number one, understand seasons. Number two, understand the communications and the revelation that is released to guide men into exploring that season. And then number three, to sustain the utterance in the spirit to interpret those mysteries so that the people of God can both understand, receive, and walk in light of what God is doing. Are you following me now? And so, we must be able to understand. The Bible says, wise men, they looked at the stars and suddenly they found out that one star was bright. And they knew it was not just a coincidence. Are you following me now? And on the strength of that spiritual advantage, they began to explore. And it took them around 
on the manger. And so prophetic words are not just um, words that must happen January to December. And again, I've had a lot of people talk about January to December and say that it is not, maybe it doesn't make any spiritual sense. You see, when I hear talks like this, I, I don't feel bad for the people that communicate these things. It's only an expression of our deficiency of understanding spiritual things. Because if your journey to explore God starts from the Old Testament, you are lagging behind seriously. Your understanding of God must predate the Old Testament. So that it gives you an opportunity to see the consistency of his character through many dispensations. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. Are you following me now? And so it means that our dispensation is only in the middle of many dispensations that have gone before us and many to come after us. Is that true? But then the Bible gives us a picture of the consistency of the operation of the kingdom in the midst of these dispensations. For instance, there was a dispensation where the one we call Satan or Lucifer did not exist. Did you know that? Is that true? There was a dispensation where the earth was not a factor. Is that true? When you read the communications of Job, when he invoked God in chapter 38, he said, guard up thy loins as, as, a, as a man and I will demand of thee. He said, where was thou when I founded the earth? Tell me if you know. Were you there when I laid its foundation? When I put the cornerstone? He said, when the morning stars sang together and the sons of God rejoiced. So you see that the concept of sons of God is not a New Testament concept. Our understanding about God and the kingdom must predate Genesis 1. Predate Old Testament. So that it no longer becomes just an argument between Old Testament and New Testament. You are exploring the consistency of a being that has manipulated things according to his wisdom. From infinite dispensations past. The earth, as we know, our dispensation is barely six or 7,000 years. But we carbon date rocks and we see that some are as far as 50,000 years. Is that true? That means there is an old story. And if we do not understand this operation of God, we will find ourselves violating his system. And part of my personal pursuit during my retreat, I was telling the Lord that one of the things that I trust that God will use me to bring to this house is accuracy of alignment. That we will truly gain mastery in the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. And then it will make us to reign truly and experientially. And so the prophetic word is God's program of guidance for us for ministries, for territories. It's important for us to understand the language of God. He speaks um, dimensionally. In fact, he acts dimensionally. It is the dimensional character of God that gave birth to his names. All the names of God represent dimensions and they, they also represent progressions of understanding him. So every dispensation is supposed to give God a name. And that name represents the scope of their experience with him. The names of God as we know so far represent his dealings and his revelations. The unveilings of himself across many dispensations. So while we lean on the strength of those revelations to gain access to who he really is. There is a lot more that he wants to reveal to us. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 before we come to Hosea blessed be the name of the Lord Lord we thank you for light we thank you for light thank you for light Genesis 1 verse 26 and God said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion upon over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. 
So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 7 please. I'm just trying to establish a few things that will lead us to understanding the theme and then we'll pray. Are we there? Verse 7. Okay, it's projected. I think many of us can follow. As many as possible. And the Lord God did what? Formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. There's something I want to pick out here. When the Bible says God formed man from the dust of the earth. Now, Adam was not just the name of that man. Hallelujah. When the Bible says God formed man, that the name of that formation itself is Adam. Are you getting my point now? Now, it said God made man from the earth, the dust of the earth. Now, there is a mystery there that I want you to understand. It doesn't just mean God used clay to make man. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because according to ecology as we know, right? You will not be able to dwell in a system if you cannot relate with that environment. Is that true? So God made the spirit of man. But when it, come, it, it, it came to forming the body of man, the Bible says God made man, Adam. What, what it meant was that God used the raw materials of the system to fabricate the body of man. Are you getting my point? So that it will grant him the opportunity to be able to relate freely in this realm. The biological components of man, the psychological components of man were created from the materials within his environment. Are, are you following me now? Praise the Lord. So that there is a consistent interaction between the man, Adam, and the environment. And five elements work together to create man. Number one, light. Number two, wind. Number three, water. Number four, earth. Just follow me. What's number one? Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Sound. Please just follow me. I want to establish something. Open our eyes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, these five elements, as we know, look up, please. They are the five elements that govern the interaction of man and his system. Are you following me now? Light, the earth, the food that we eat comes from where? Is that true? The water we drink, without water, you know that we will die. Meaning there is a relationship between the waters and the body of man. Is that true, please? The light sunlight as we know you know that without light there is no life is that true and then sound sound physics has gone so far to tell us a lot of the implication of sound it has been established that we live in a planet that is governed by sound sound hallelujah business people have postulated theories to be able to let us know that your thoughts produce sound that your light produces sound and it takes sound to be able to communicate and all of that. You are listening to me upon the strength of sound. We all know this just to be physics, but I am telling you that all these elements were not of this realm. They were imported to help man become compatible. Just follow me. This is the reason why the description of the Holy Spirit in the Bible has been in the similitude of these elements. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And so when the Bible says God made man, what it means is that in the making of this body called Adam, these elements are found. That's why we drink water. Is that true? 
That's why we need light to see. You cannot see in darkness. You need light to see. You need sound to hear and do a lot of other things. We need the earth to be able to plant our crops. Mysteries. You open the ground and throw a seed and close it. And don't supervise it. You don't need a remote control. Something begins to happen that we cannot explain. Brothers and sisters, imagine the mystery of this earth. Is it living? You throw a seed. The earth has the resurrection power in it. You throw a seed and the Bible tells us that that seed dies. The earth without prayer brings it back to life. I'm showing you the elements of creation. Without prayer, no man can manipulate the earth. No matter your fight, you cannot be angry with the earth. Because it is spiritual. Number two, fire or light. Let's just call it light, really. But you can put light stroke fire. You cannot box light or box fire. You cannot monopolize it. You cannot do anything. It's an entity that is strange. It is not scared of anything, yet it threatens everything. Spiritual elements. Number three, water. A great mystery. Great mystery. You can't hold it, yet it has weight. Heavier than anything. Mysteries that surround our world that many of us may never get to really understand and appreciate. We see it all the time. What is the relationship between your body and water? Brothers and sisters, animals take water. Plants take water. Hallelujah. Meet a man who is dying of thirst. Give him water and he's rejuvenated. What does it do to him? It's more than biology. It's more than biology. Hallelujah. And then another mystery is even how the rain falls. Hallelujah. That vapor rises without the eyes of man seeing condenses in the atmosphere purest form by itself distills itself and begins to empty itself upon the earth mysteries that surround our world and the bible says man was made of these elements meaning if you corrupt any of these elements it will translate into the corruption of man are you getting what i'm saying you now see the reason why demonic spirits use these five elements for their operation. Satan is called the prince of the power of what? That's we. Is that true? We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as the wind. We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as water. We see the Holy Spirit manifesting as light or fire. Now, I, I'm just helping you to appreciate the fact that it's not just that we, we stumbled across these things and we found them being used in Scripture. They are, in, they are not the only elements. Are you following me now? It is only because they are the elements that are important for the existence and the functionality of man. There are many other elements. But we know those five. Just like we have five senses. Is that true? But those are not the only senses. Now I know that people have taught great men like Papa Hagin and the rest. They've written books and they've said we also have spiritual, five spiritual senses. Of course you can look at the level and the, the, the dispensation with which he wrote those revelations. But now we know better. It cannot be that there are five senses. There are senses as infinite as the wisdom of God. That's why you can receive certain communications of the spirit that you cannot explain physically. Because the, the equivalent sense to help you interpret it is deficient. Are you getting what I'm saying now? God made man to interact with these things. So when I drink water, when I walk with the earth, when I take advantage of the illumination from light, right? And I, 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 I walk with these elements. They sustain my health. They sustain my vitality. And they help me to function in the earth. And it so happens that these elements, because they were imported from the spirit, when the Holy Ghost begins to function with this man, 
Adam. He also comes in the similitude of these elements. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he can manifest as light or fire. When he manifests as fire, it's a revelation of his dimension to be able to achieve certain things. When he manifests as wind or sound, he says that I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Ghost was coming, a mighty sound, a rushing wind. Right? And so we see these operations of the spirit. The prophet said, O wind, breathe upon this slave. And the Bible says the wind came and entered them. And suddenly, the flesh, the sinews that came, came from the earth. It, I will cause sinews to come and cover the bones. Are you following me now? And so the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is in the similitude of these elements. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will still use these five elements to concoct everything because he's working with man. Is that true? When you go, I've, I've, I've taught us already, but then let me just share it. The principle of reflection, we call it, that everything in creation should reflect its maker. Is that true? And because man is the hallmark of God's creation, everything in creation should be reflected in man. Is that true? And so I told you that the eyes of man was made from what? Water. Right? The similitude of vision. The same way that you go to a herbalist and it does incantations on water and suddenly that water becomes an eye and he starts seeing through it. Right? I told you that the hair of man was made in the similitude of grass. Is that true? That's why you can barb it and everything, you know, that similitude. The veins of man were made in the similitude of roots of plants. Is that true? The bones of man was made in the similitude of stones. That's why they can stay long even after, just like the stones. Are you getting what I'm saying? The body of man, this flesh was made from the earth. That's why it is compatible with the earth. When men die, where do we bury them? Not in the sky. We don't just hang them somewhere in the sky. Is that true? We bury them. It said, for dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return. Is that true? That means you are dust. So when the Holy Spirit begins to function, he functions in these dimensions. Watch this. Notice the coexistence of wind, light, water, and all of this to keep you alive. Can you choose water and say there's no need for light? Is that true? You need all of these dimensions. Now, that's how it is spiritually. Every season, because rea realize that God is building another spiritual man. Is that true? He says, we all as living stones. There is a spiritual house God is attempting to build. And the name of that house, when completed, is called the bride of Christ. In her perfection. God is walking molding. He said, my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed in you. Like an architect trying to build a mystery using the bride to make a bride. That bride that is spotless. And so based on that creation, God is using us and forming every element that needs to be in us so that as a church, we can be presented as that apostolic Are you following me tonight? So the Holy Spirit reveals himself in different dimensions after the similitude of these elements of creation. And every one of his dimensions comes to initiate an understanding about God and to initiate a certain kind of function. Just like water. Water does not just do what light does. Water does not just do what wind does. But without wind, water cannot move. Is that true? There, there is a coexistence. When I began to seek the Lord this year, and for the prophetic word, he said, I will reveal myself to my people as the rain. The rain. Not just water. The rain. That caught my attention. For me, I was very, very excited. Very, very excited. 
because I know a bit about water and I, I have studied a bit but when the Lord began to give me that word I braced up, I was excited I received it into my spirit and very briefly I will just share with you certain things that will help us to align with the prophetic word of God Hosea chapter 6 please from verse 1 to 3 Hosea chapter 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. Verse 2. After two days he will revive us. In the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Verse 3. I want us to read it together. One to read. And he shall come to us as how? Hold on. He said, and he shall come to us. Meaning this is how he has chosen to reveal himself. To make himself manifest in the midst of his people. Not a rain. He says, and he shall come to us as the rain. A combination of the former rain and the latter rain. Now I don't want to go into the whole theology of the arguments about former rain, um, latter rain, and all of that, that's not our point of interest tonight. But it's just for us to know that God wants to come and manifest himself this year, 2015, as the rain. The rain. The rain. What then is this rain? Very quickly. What is the rain, really? I wrote a few things here, and I'll just read them out so that we can have some notes. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Spirit. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people and territories that is responsible for activating certain spiritual realities. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. upon people and upon territories responsible for activating certain spiritual realities there are different spiritual realities because every dimension of the holy spirit helps you to access certain dimensions hallelujah when the holy spirit is revealed as fire there is a dimension of him that we can access on the strength of that revelation when he's revealed as rain or water or dew or whatever it is in that similitude. When the Holy Spirit is revealed as oil, when he's revealed as a dove, when he's revealed as all of these things, they all attempt to communicate certain dimensions of his operation and dimensions that can be accessible. Hallelujah. There are seven seven dimensions or expectations I want us to have as the Holy Spirit reveals himself as the rain. Seven things happen in the life of any man and any territory when the Holy Spirit is permitted to reveal himself as the rain. We'll just run through it very quickly. Number one, when the Holy Spirit reveals himself to a people as the rain, there is an unusual dimension of soul winning. Unusual dimension of soul winning. Because harvest is tied to rain. Harvest is tied to rain. Hmm. Harvest is always tied to rain. He said in Isaiah chapter 32 from verse 15, he says, until the spirit be poured upon us. So he uses the language of the rain. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And then that vine will multiply and become a forest. So one of the things that happens to a people or a territory. When the Holy Ghost begins to manifest as the rain. Is that there are unusual dimensions of soul winning and transformation transformation 
we had our brother who came here and shared how that he had never seen me. I don't know how, probably without exaggeration, thousands of people who say, I have never seen you. Most people outside of this circle have seen me in either dreams or visions. You see that? The rain unusual dimension of soul winning. So that's one of the things we expect to see this year. That there will be unusual dimensions. That rain will pour on people. You see, when the rain begins to pour, it does not select who to fall upon. Is that true? When it falls, it falls upon everyone and you must carry a trace of it. It will wet anybody. It will wet any car. That's the dimension of the spirit. So he will fall on unusual people. He will fall on business people. He will fall on students. He will fall on workers, unbelievers. Had, you will see hardened criminals come to Christ. People who vowed by themselves, God forbid, over my dead body to be born again. You will see them come mysteriously. And then you will know that the rain fell on them. Hallelujah. People who hid that all have refused to accept Jesus Christ. You will argue with them. They will say, look, if, if Jesus is real, why are pastors this? You know, all those, all those arguments they bring. You will see them walk in dimensions. I tell you, you three o'clock, you will see them come to stand at Koinonia. Shaking, they cannot explain what brought them. The moment you see that, know that it is the rain. Because every time a rain will fall, you will see clouds. There is a sign. There is a rain. And that rain will fall. It will bring, I'm not talking of salvation of one leg here today and two legs out to say I had it. No, 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 no. Genuine that all your legs will be stationed and established in the kingdom. That's why I said so winning and transformation. You know, I've questioned a lot of what people call born again. Right? If you truly meet with this rain, there must be transformation. Hallelujah. All of those kinds of what I used to do before, I'm still doing it again after 10 years. I'm, you did not meet with the Holy Spirit. If you truly meet with the Spirit of the living God, the Spirit of the living... A donkey met with him and started talking. No rehearsals. Look, let me tell you, if the Holy Ghost meets with you, something must change. It has nothing to do with whether you have faith or not. There is an imprint. When rain comes, it does not ask you what kind of material. You live and there is an evidence. Have you seen rain come and then there is a nice lady who is wearing, um, what they call it, those you people's dangerous shoes that, that is pointed, you know, and she's trying to just run. The rain is whipping her. No regard for whatever she, whether it's with one or your natural hair or whatever hair, whether rain just comes lord send that avalanche we are tired of discussing with certain family members that will not change in this season of the rain the moment he's kicking the car the car will not kick again and the only he can't open the door and he will hear a voice and he will say how long will you keep running away from me Personal salvation. Genuine personal salvation. I want you to believe. Look, let me tell you, there are seven things. This is number one, but this is major. Every one of us must participate. Cooperating with this rain. Because when, when rain falls, there are certain people who can... How many of you have seen rain fall and then some people bend their zinc strategically to make sure that water enters some vessels? That's how some of us will be. You will say, this rain is almost reaching my uncle. Oh Lord, where is that zinc? You must tilt it to touch him. Oh no, look, let me tell you. There will be massive salvation this year. It's called anakazo. A compelling evangelism. Not, not too much of drama and they are asking you, did you quote it correctly? Do you know that that means you are not a serious believer? And then what would have been a, a simple encounter becomes three hours of foolish argument. The Bible calls it vain talk. Right? You keep arguing whether is this and that. Should this person do this? Does your church do this? When the rain comes. When the rain comes. Some of you, all you will need to tell somebody is come. 
Jesus looked at them and said, come, no argument. That's how they got up. Because that rain comes with it a dimension of the spirit. Do you believe that? Number two. When the rain comes, we will experience increased dimension of love for God and passion for spiritual things. Listen to me. Every time rainy season comes, it supplies energy upon the farmer to go to the farm. Is that true? When he sees the rain, he's excited. When the rain falls, every one of us, every one of us must fall in love with God. It comes, it's a dimension of the Holy Spirit that all of a sudden makes Jesus become a priority in your life. So, it's not just the issue of being fanatical. He emphasizes the priority of the things of the kingdom. The house of God. Evangelism. Prayer. Your, your passion for spiritual things come alive. Jesus must become a priority in our lives this year. Not an option. Many of us love the Lord. But there are many distractions. Jesus is not a priority to many of us. But this year, this season of the rain. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Let me tell you one of the things that the rain does. The rain washes away filth. There are many things that have covered our eyes and our lives. That would stop. Some of us love God. But there is a devil seated on our face call our mouth that will not allow us serve God well. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your spirit wants to serve God but your mouth, this mouth is, is, is an empire, is Babylon seated on your face. And if you don't tame it, let the rain wash away that thing. That feeling. There are many of us, our lives, this is the year when you say, Lord, let this rain come. During my retreat, I said, Lord, I really want to love you. I don't want to fake it. I know that I love you. You know, people send me a text and say, may God give me one tenth of your love for God. I said, really? You've not seen anything yet. Madly in love. For some of you, may God give you the kind of love you have for women. May God convert it to be love for him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two thousand and fifteen, may it happen. No, we are here to enforce it tonight. Because, see, the way many of us love things that are not God, money, reputation, women, men, intellect. Now, I'm not against all of those things, but I am telling you. Remember. Part of the things we do here is to make sure we strangle every idol to death. There is only one that deserves our praise. We will lay down our idols and thrones we have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. I will bow. To you, to no other God than you. Listen, can I tell you one strategy of the devil? One strategy of the devil to, to filter or draw away our love and passion for God is activities. Say activities. That was the strategy Pharaoh used. When Moses was coming to connect them back to God, Pharaoh said, ah, it's because you are free. I've not occupied you enough. That's why you even have time to consider an exodus. He said, occupy them. What I was giving them free, let them look for it. And that's one thing that the devil is using to destroy our generation. Ask an average young man, why are you busy like this? 
Four o'clock, you are awake. Sorry, I don't have time. Ba, 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 Lord, I thank you. You are, I mean, if you were not alive, I wouldn't have woken up. Now that I'm awake, I really thank you. And you're on your way moving. We are on the go. We have fast food. If you are hungry, enter quickly. Five minutes, you are out. This kind of life will never produce passionate people. There must come a time in your life where you must define who is worth your time. Ha! Ah, you've won my heart, oh God. You've won my heart. Don't let Nigeria fool you. You are not the first to be successful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ask Abraham. Ask Isaac. Ask Solomon. These were men who pursued God. But with that pursuit, they were successful. Take away that useless theology that the devil has given Nigerians. That if you don't get up and hustle and push, if one door closes, force another one to open. What do we call it? Hustling. In this year of the rain, may God help you to know what matters. You have only 24 hours. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I hunger and thirst for you In a dry and weary land All I want is you There are many of us, we don't care about the house of God The, the house of God, come for koinonia and, oh yeah, Let me just drag myself and come, you know and you come and you are waiting for everybody to tell you thank you. This is the year you tell that devil, if you, if you took advantage of my life in 2014, in this year, I mean business with God. Hallelujah. This is the year to throw away that small jotter that fire has burned half of it and buy a good hardcover exercise book and say, Lord, I mean business. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, he says, after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up. This was my cry during the retreat. I said, Lord, I don't love you enough. I searched my life to find out all the things that are still in the remaining time. And I said, Lord, I will give you time more. Because intimacy is a function of time. It's not just about quoting koinonia. Intimacy is highly time dependent. For the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Spend time. In this season of the rain, many of you, let me tell you, you will find out 4 o'clock, 4.30, the Holy Ghost will wake you. Mm, sleep goes away. No matter the tiredness, you know that is the season of the rain. And you get up and play worship songs. I want more of you. Some of you, this season of the rain will take you back to what you used to do that brought grace upon your life. That you have thrown away. There are some of us here, especially the ladies, you know what you used to do. When it was not the issue of men. Huh? When it was not the issue of beauty. Before you rediscovered yourself, that depth of passion. Some of us don't wake up in the morning again. You sleep by 8 o'clock, you wake up by 9 o'clock. Spiritual carelessness. You don't care, you don't pray for two weeks, it's none of your business. You check the way you drop your note on your Bible last Koinonia Friday. That's how you pick it next Koinonia. You just say, Lord, I thank you. Speak to me. Look, it must change in the name of Jesus. Let there be passion. Passion. Some of us were lied to our roommates. Right now, they are the ones advising you. Huh? Look at how spiritual drought came and stole your fervency. But no more. I said no more. In this season of the rain. Ah, cold. It's too cold. I can't serve God. Or the trouser I wanted to wear is not there. I wore blue last week, blue this week. I can't go for koinonia. You are not serious. When this rain pours on you, you will pick up that trouser and wear. And say, whether, whether it's blue or black, I want more of you. Priorities that will change. 
your priorities must change. You went to make your hair, they made half, they've not made the other half, carry cap and cover it, come for color. See, ask people and know the silly reasons why they refuse to come to the house of God. Very silly reasons. Someone say, I don't have transport. But let the guy say, oh yeah, come, let's talk. You, you, there is energy. Or, well, or the lady says, okay, I'm waiting for you at 90s. See, the guy say, I'm coming. When he was talking, it was around dark, but you will be walking. Lord, I receive strength. I cover ground. And you cannot come to the house of God. In this year, 2015, may God give us passion. Oh, let, let this rain come. And let people see the difference between them and God in your life. Are you getting my point? Let the guy know you love him, but when he comes to God, he is truly secondary. Without apology. What, if you put anything on God, don't even ask me which one. Anything that is not God has lost, including myself. If I'm secondary to God, what makes you think you will be primary? More of you. More of you. More of you. Jesus, more. Sing more of you. Sing more of you. Sing more of you. More of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Yes. It's called an awakening. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ will give you light. Please, you need to talk to your neighbor. Say, Wake up this year. Reignite your passion for God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sit down five minutes prayer. Oh Lord, I thank you. No, 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 no. You have to give God time. You have to give God time. Say, I will give God time. He will become a priority in my life. Yes. Nothing else matters. Look, let me tell you something. I was talking with my auntie. She lost her, her son, eldest son, the one who would, you know, be the next of kin. And when I went to her, um, when she heard I was in ministry, in her mind she said, ah, this young man, according to her, she said, this young man, so intelligent. You mean that's what you really want to do with your life? You know, people make it look like, ah, you mean this is it? Now, but when her son died, when I went to her, she said, if I knew, I would have served God like you in the days of my youth. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Whether you believe in immortality or not, we are not going to be here forever. Just settle that in your mind. Is that true? Jesus said, I must walk the works of him. Five minutes without breathing, nobody will ask you all the PhDs you got. Are you aware of that? Nobody will ask you what your CGPA was. Please let me remind you. Nobody will ask you whether you, you got married or not. As important as these things are, if you have not sat down to think about them, I want you to know that there is only one thing that will matter at the end of your life. We used to sing a song um, when I was in secondary school, one Anglican song, only remembered for what we have done. You know the song? Very powerful song. So, by and large, hear me, if you keep distracting yourself and not giving God time, everything that you are giving time for now, will it secure your eternity? That's the question. You are giving your whole life to a man, yet you cannot give God. A man you cannot trust. A man who can come and say, I've changed my mind. Kai, I've changed my mind. A, a, a lady who can come and say, you know, the only constant thing in life is change. Yet you say, I give you my all. You even say it happily. Please don't laugh. 
I came with the fire from my retreat. Make sure you are not just laughing carelessly. I'm communicating something very serious. Passion. That you must not come for koinonia for people to see the passion. People will look at Morgan and say, what is this? This fire you have. Why is it just God all the way? God in lecture theater. God everywhere. Are you this fanatical? Absolutely. Absolutely. He said, if you are ashamed of me before men, listen, if you are ashamed of me, I've seen people die. Brothers and sisters, I've had the privilege to, to, to go and minister to bereaved families. I've prayed for people in hospitals. I have seen in my little life the vanity of life. That's not to make you not to get up, but I know that I plan to spend my life on what matters. That at the end of my life, when I stand before him, let me carry mantles of souls and say, Lord, I spent my life. I spent my life to the last serving. One general that we honor forever, Dr. Miles Munro, a man who cheated death left and right, front and back. There are men who have cheated death. This year, please let there be an awakening. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. For some of us, it is to return to your first love. Ha! Huh. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. Like the fire Lord, don't let my life go cold. Let me not be busy doing ministry and forget my relationship with God. Let me not be busy doing ministry, ministering, traveling around, and everybody is shouting Apostle Joshua Selman, whereas my personal intimacy with God is faulty. See, let me tell you, men can clap for you, but this is the year you say, Lord, I want to be genuine. I'm tired of pretense. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm tired of people looking at me like a Christian, thinking that I love God, walking based on yesterday's anointing, yesterday's oil, walking based on the applause of yesterday, whereas my today is faulty. Number three, when the rain falls, it brings unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. This is one of the things that we are going to be experiencing in this year of the rain. Unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Please media you help us. We have to really be fast. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1 and 2. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy 32. Mambroski, brother, Shilaba. Okay, let's just watch. Okay. It says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Verse 2. Read together. How? My doctrine, my mysteries. I will give you certain revelations and it will come in the similitude of the rain. It will, it will be an avalanche. It will come in abundance. Hallelujah. My secrets, my mysteries will come upon you as the rain. No matter how the drizzle is, if you channel it well, it can fill buckets. He says, my doctrine shall drop. He said, my speech shall distill as the dew. High. Abundance. Some of you will open Genesis and you'll be reading Genesis for months. Because you will see things there that you never saw. And God said, that will be the revelation you'll be exploring for two weeks. And God said, a sound planet. 
that it moves with words and God said my doctrine my mysteries will fall upon koinonia like rain ah. so that you will begin to see the puzzles joined together that these are the keys these are the operations of the spirit that activate certain dimension of kingdom realities Brothers and sisters, hear me. The Bible says it has been given unto us to know. The word know is the word intercourse. The same word like a man knowing his wife. It has been given unto us to intercourse. That's the word epignosis. A state where you know a thing by becoming that thing. Not just by hearing about it. It's an operation that only exists in the spirit. So in the spirit, if I want to know how this speaker is, I will have a feeling of becoming it. Accurate knowledge. My doctrine shall come upon you like the dew. So that many things we have believed that are confusing us and stopping us from experiencing the reality of God. When there is an avalanche of access to the mysteries of God, some of you will begin to find out what is responsible for the tragedies and the operation of darkness in our families and you will know what to do he said jesus himself knew what to do this year may you know what to do because in the kingdom we arise and we shine when light comes we reign upon the strength of light not when your light is available when it comes when it comes he said they that have sat in darkness have seen a great light a great light a great light a great light Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 there is a God that can show men mysteries there is a God we are going to contend for mysteries we'll look at verse 19, 22 and 47 long story a king had a dream and forgot it and said if you don't tell me what this dream is and the interpretation I will kill you very simple Hallelujah. The king had a dream and he forgot it. And he gathered all the soothsayers and wise men and said, I don't know what you will do. Go and invoke whatever you can invoke. But if you don't tell me this dream, I guarantee you, you will die. And the Bible says, Daniel asked for time. He said, give me time. Everybody say time. Hmm. You don't want revelation. God is not Mr. Biggs or Chicken Republic. He said, Lord, as I'm going, just let it come. I, I didn't have time to prepare. Now that I'm going for the meeting, let it just drop as I'm coming. Don't take the mercy of God for granted. It takes time. Daniel told the king, he said, I can tell you, but I need time. Because it's in the place of intimacy that you experience that rain. And he said, then was what? The secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. In the night, while men were snoring and sleeping, the rain came. And when it came, he said, Daniel, this is it. Sit down, you are about to watch a movie. And he saw Nebuchadnezzar sleeping. And he saw what happened. Verse 22. This was Daniel acknowledging God. He said he revealed what? The deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. And, the, and light dwelleth with him. Brothers and sisters, may God show us the things that are hidden in darkness. That have been responsible for the stagnation of our lives and our families. As this rain falls, let, let it expose things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let's just leave verse 47. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible makes us to understand... That the Holy Spirit is able to access the mind of God. Have you read that scripture? That the Holy Spirit can reveal to us the things that are in the mind of God. Right? Scripture makes us understand that no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. And the spirit of God has access to the mind of God. And is able to reveal it to us. He said, but God had revealed them to us. How? By his spirit that will manifest himself as the rain. He said, for the spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things. May God grant unto us uncommon revelation. 
in this year of the rain. Number what now? Number four. When the rain falls, one of the things that we experience is multiplied dimensions of spiritual power and the anointing. Multiplied dimensions of spiritual power. When you plant a seed and bury it, the moment the rain falls, that seed begins to push above the earth against gravity and it comes out spiritual power a Christianity that does not demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit is child's play there is only one language that is understood in the realm of the spirit and is a language of power when Moses stood before Pharaoh I was watching the, a, a, a lovely cartoon yesterday I don't watch most of uh, I don't have time self to even watch cartoons but one caught my attention Pharaoh Moses in Egypt and I mean it was it was it was well animated I was so touched better than many of the things we have watched before I mean very 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 nice and very graphic when Moses got there there was no room for long stories the rods were speaking this is the year by the grace of God where there will be a demonstration of the power of the spirit this is a place of power there must be miracles upon miracles. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. We must, it must be evident that the rain is falling. If you believe that, say amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Resulting to an outbreak of miracles, signs, wonders, breakthroughs, healings. It's impossible to have the Holy Spirit reveal himself as the rain and will not have healings and miracles and it will start this night. This night, not next week, this very night. Hallelujah. Some of you, you, you carry the atmosphere of this rain and step into places and you see the sick get healed. Look, we need to restore the church to the signs that characterize that God is at work and at, alive in people. We trivialize the place of the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we have a lot of arguments in the body of Christ. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. And by the grace of God, this place will become a habitation of not just his presence, but his power. Let the sick come and be healed. Let the oppressed come and be delivered. Not, not long stories. There are many things in our lives that do, doesn't require counseling. We need a head-on collision with the power of God. And it solves the problem once and for all. Some diseases will die a natural death when they meet the power of God. He said the yoke shall be destroyed, not by oratory. He said because of the anointing. When the rain falls upon us, there will be levels of grace. When God was showing me little visions of things that will happen in the year, and I saw some of the things, I said, my goodness, oh Lord, do these things. Let nothing restrict you. Look, brothers and sisters, you will see a demonstration of the power of the Spirit this year that will shock you. Not just from here, not just from my life, from your own life. From your own life. Your hands will do mighty things. Look at your hands and say, this year you will do mighty things. Please, I want you to believe it. Look at your hands and say, this year you carry an unusual unction. And you will do mighty things. So we'll see multiplied dimensions of grace. Multiplied dimensions of miracles. Signs, wonders. Manifestations of the power of the Holy Spirit. Next point. When the wind, when the, the rain of the Spirit falls upon us. Now take note of what I'm about to share. It will bring unusual dimensions of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. For sure. Rain. Now agriculturally speaking, rain is tied to abundance and fruitfulness. Is that true? And one of the things that the Lord spoke to me again and again very notably 
that will happen in the lives of people is an avalanche of prosperity. I know that many of us have heard these things again and again, but please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Prosperity. I believe in prosperity. Absolutely. Joel chapter 2, please. For time's sake, we'll just look at verse 24 and 26. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. It says, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. It says, and ye shall eat in what? Plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people, in terms of finances, shall never be ashamed. Do you believe that? God is going to change the stories of people. Look, it will be, the Bible says, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. For many of us, it will be like a dream. People will look at you. Without the assistance of any uncle or auntie, you will rise. It will be a mystery. God will use you to prove that the rain has fallen upon your land. Genesis chapter 2. You do mighty things, you do glorious things. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. 2 verse 5. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 5. Listen, it says... And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. He said, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the ground. When you read the verse before it, it says how that there was no vegetation. Why? Because the rain had not come. When the rain falls, fruitfulness begins immediately, immediately. There is a relationship between that dimension of the spirit and your prosperity. And I want you to believe it. I have prayed this into my own life. I have received it. I have believed it with all my heart. This year, I will not argue with the word of God. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. Leviticus 26 from verse 4. I'm giving us this scripture. Let's hurry up and we'll pray. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. It says, then I will give you rain. When? And this is the season. The Lord has spoken to us. He said, I will give you rain in due season. And what will be the result? And the land shall yield her increase. And the trees of the field shall yield her fruit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May that happen for somebody. Brothers and sisters, I have learned in my little life that the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Hallelujah. Joseph slept in one night as a servant, as a slave, a property of Egypt. He woke up the next day as the man in command. That would be somebody's story. When the gentleman shared about his UK, um, you know, um, the blessings of the Lord, in my mind I said, that is a drop. We are talking of an ocean an ocean of the, the avalanche of what God will do. Men will look at you and say, whose head did you cut? You will say, no. No. It's the rain. It's the rain. Do you believe this? Or has your suffering of the past blinded you and say, it's like that. It came like that. Do you not believe that God is able to make a table in the wilderness. He said they limited God by saying, can God make a table in the wilderness? A table. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14. Just look at that and then we'll touch on the remaining. I have to run. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14. I just want to give us scriptures. I want you to read if you believe. One, to read everyone. What will be the result? It didn't say your neighbor's corn. There is, there is a, listen, there is an apportioning for you. 
Listen, this year is not the time you sit down and clap for others and say, you mean God did it for you? Hallelujah. You must insist. Please believe. If you've never believed God for anything, why don't you connect and believe this year? He said that thou mayest gather thy corn. And what? And what? Three things. Your corn, your wine, and your oil. When the rain falls, your corn, plenty, plenty, he will cause you to experience it. What else do we expect? Two more, right? Number six, supernatural restoration. When the rain falls, in Joel chapter 2, the coming, the outpouring, the rain and the spirit brought about the restoration. He said, and I will restore to you the years. Verse 25 of Joel chapter 2. And I will restore to you the years. I will restore to you opportunities. I don't care whether it was carelessness. I don't care whether it was armed robbery. I will restore. Everybody shout restore. restore. We have come to enforce it. The Bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore. 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 He said turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. For many families here that the devil has made it look like his Ichabod in this year when the rain falls you will see a tree that was dry you almost want to use it for firewood god will say don't cut it at the scent of water at the scent he said there is hope for a tree even if it be cut off at the scent of water i'm prophesying to someone here it looks like you are in a state in your life some of us think we have messed it up there is no way there is no human way, but that's when God is needed. If it's still possible for you, God will be resting. But when it's impossible, he will arise. And I'm speaking to someone, the way God will change your story this year, it will shock you. God, one by one, God will restore everything to the latter. Even what you said, God, is not necessary. God will say, no, 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 I'm too committed. Restoration, joy and peace restoration for the days of tears restoration academic restoration financial restoration marital and relational restorations mm. he said rejoice not over me my enemies he said though i fall yet i will rise while you are sitting down discussing that i died jesus died for only three days while you are discussing they say no he has risen you are talking about a man who only died for 72 hours some of you you have been subjects of discussion in your family. They looked at you and said, look at huh? It's better to even be an idol worshiper. You are mocking God. But this year, my father will arise. You will see God revisiting things that happened 10 years ago and say, I must prove a point. It's not necessary, but they have mocked my name in your life. Do you believe this? I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. God is able to restore. I like you to say God is able to restore. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. nothing you can do and there is absolutely nothing absolutely nothing oh lord see him wiping your tears in this year of the rain you can't cry forever That 
will be your song when God changes your story let men talk don't try to defend yourself there is a defender the God of your salvation oh Lord oh in my little life that you don't cry forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Just let the rain fall. <laughs> yeah. When that rain falls, you will see restorations that you cannot account for. You can't even explain how it happened. Joseph, how did you become a prime minister? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that I woke up that morning and by evening I was on a throne. Esther, how did a villager like you become the king's wife? I don't know. I didn't instigate Vashti to look for trouble. All I know is that the rain fell. See, when I say the last point, you will know what I'm saying. This year, there will be the falling of many and the rising of others. Trust me. Many who have made mouth and concluded on others, you will see God take people that you mocked and sat down and they will rule you. you <laughs> be careful as you speak over people because brothers and sisters, there are others who have even said, God take my life and God said, are you joking? Wait and see how I, I, I will write my name upon your life and any man that sees you will know that God is able to restore me. He says, son of man, can these bones live again? Can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. Only thou knowest. The rain will fall. And things will change. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The last thing that the coming of the rain will do. Is that the rain brings judgment upon people and territories who oppose God's agenda. Oh yes, there will be a rain. I told you that there will be the falling of many and the rising of many. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Let's hurry up. After that we'll look at chapter 19 verse 24. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. It says... For yet seven days I will cause it to do what? To rain upon the earth. Forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made I will destroy off from the face of the earth. So the rain does not just come to bless. There is a dimension of the rain that brings judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When it, when it was time to judge the world, it was water. Rain came and caused judgment. There are people who have sat down and believed that they hold the destinies of people in their hands. This year, they will receive of that rain, for sure. For sure, that rain will come. Listen, two things happened when it began to rain in Noah's days. It was killing all the people who were laughing at Noah. I said, Noah, for how many years? Noah, we were young, go. We were young. Those days when you were 70 years, you were a teenager. They say, well, we're teenagers. You were Now, 120 years, you are still building an ark. Noah said, I know. 120 years ago, he told me rain will fall and it will still happen. And when it was time, God said, Noah, enter your ark. I will close the door by myself. When he closed the door, he said, rain, you are free to come. While the rain was killing others, it was lifting another man's ark. Same rain. Are you seeing that now? The rain was drowning noisemakers and those who have laughed at what God can do. But it lifted the ark of Noah and kept it on a mountain called Mount Ararat. Hallelujah. That rain. Many of you will hear this year that the evil doers that have refused, they, they are 95 years old, they say we won't die. We are sitting to see how you will get married when that rain falls. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, 
there are men who have exchanged their life for others is that true in this year of the rain god will bring to justice i tell you is is there is no prayer of mercy it's called a written judgment it's a judgment that has been stamped and it must be executed hallelujah the rain bringing judgment two scriptures you can just write it quickly genesis chapter 19 from verse 24 and Exodus chapter 9 verse 23. Genesis 19, 24. Exodus 9, 23. You don't have to project it. But all of these things talk about rain. One time the Egyptians made noise against God. Rain came. Rain of hailstones, brimstones. It came and landed upon all of them. There will be rain this year. In this country, Nigeria. There will be rain. I saw it in visions. There are people you see bragging today. They will not see August this year. I'm telling, no, 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 no. It's, it's the truth. They will die, not just, they will die shameful deaths. God will sign upon their death that I did it. The same way terrorists take responsibility. They say we are the ones that remove that head. David removed the head of Goliath and lifted it up. I'm the one who did it. God will do certain things and leave his signature and say I did it. Hallelujah. Before we quickly pray, what does it take to experience the rain? We've told us what will happen, what the rain brings. What does it take to experience the rain very quickly? Number one, genuine hunger for more of God. You want to experience the Holy Spirit as the rain this year. It's not just as a prophetic word. Isaiah 44 verse 3, very quickly. Genuine hunger for more of God. That rain will only flow to those who are hungry. Those who are thirsty. Those who are serious with God. He said, for I will pour water upon who? Him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. In that similitude, I will pour out my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. You must be hungry. You must be desirous for more of God. You must be desirous. That's what it takes. You must have genuine hunger. Number two, you must have a determination to see his kingdom come. The rain does not just come for nothing. The purpose of the rain is for the harvest. The purpose of the rain is to introduce a new season. You must have a determination to see his kingdom come across lives, across territories. That means if the priorities of the kingdom are not an important thing, you don't need the rain. Why do you need the rain? If you do not have a determination to see his kingdom come. So you must be determined that this year, my partnership, koinonia, my partnership with God to see his kingdom come will be uncompromised. Number three, what does it take to experience the rain? Prayer. Say prayer. prayer. Heartfelt, continual prayer. Zechariah chapter 10, please, verse 1. Heartfelt prayers. You want to see the rain, you must pray it. You pray down the rain. Zechariah. Chapter 10. Zechariah 10 verse 1. We have it. Everybody read. One, two, read. Stop. He said do what? Ask. Don't wish. He said the moment you sense the season has come start asking ask ye of who the lord the owner the owner ask him and say lord this is the season let the rain come he said ask ye of the lord rain in the time of the latter rain so shall the lord make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field listen listen we are going to ask because he said we should ask. 
this is the season of the rain. There's going to be a great awakening. There's going to be a great revival in our land. There's going to be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. He said, ask for the rain. Zaria is our territory, it's our jurisdiction. Hallelujah. We must pray and say, Lord, give us the keys of this city. Give it to us. In this season of the rain, we ask for the rain. Massive salvation. Massive prosperity. Massive signs and wonders. A demonstration of the spirit that will make us walk like gods upon this city. Hallelujah. More grace. Fresh anointing upon the messages. Fresh anointing upon the people. Increase of all sorts. Numerically, spiritually. All these things are the things that come with the rain testimonies and miracles for people that in this year the barren will take their children that in this year many people's situation will change these are the things that happen when the rain comes hallelujah James let's look at an example of one person who prayed and the rain came James chapter 5 please Oh, I already feel the anointing of the Spirit. Oh, my goodness. James. James chapter 5. We'll read verse 16 and 18. There's no need reading verse 17. He said, confess your faults to one another and pray one for another that ye might be healed let's read the second clause are you ready one to read the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much and let's see an example verse 18 he said and he prayed again he had prayed and the heavens were shut and there was no rain and when it was now time for the rain to come what happened he went back and the Bible says he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and as a result the earth brought forth her fruit. So we are going to be praying. He said ask ye rain. Ask ye rain. Whenever you see clouds forming it tells you rain wants to come. That's why he began to pray and he told the servant go and check. The servant said nothing. He said I will still pray. But when he saw clouds forming he said, that is it. That is it. Pray. And the heavens gave rain. Financial rain. Spiritual rain. All kinds of things. We are going to see the hand of God in a very mighty way. God is going to lift us and exalt us in ways that will honor him. God is going to make a spectacle out of us. And the goal of this first meeting tonight is to bring us into agreement. Because you must agree. That's the purpose of this little exhortation. To bring us to a point where you say, Lord, that is it. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it for my life. I refuse to argue. It's my season. Not koinonia season. It's my season of the rain my season of not a rain the rain i have exact expectations we are going to be praying and you're going to be telling the lord as far as it depends on me i'm ready to play my own role just supply the grace and i tell you for many of you january will not end because he said he will bring that rain in the first month beginning from the first month many of us will begin to see things happen is 16 days and, and it does not take time when rain comes it's an avalanche it may take time to see the formation but if the cloud be full of rain except they are not full he said they empty themselves upon the earth hallelujah 
so we trust God that he will reveal himself there will be such an outpouring upon the campus there will be outpourings of the spirit outpourings everywhere that from this place like 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 infernos of fire it will shoot to territories one of my one of my goals this year is that all of the external ministrations that God will grant me grace I want to take this rain to those territories hallelujah my focus this year is to take this rain to territories there are people that must catch this rain watch this for every physical manifestation there is a spiritual initiation for every physical manifestation good or bad there is a spiritual the body cannot initiate anything the body cannot initiate success the body cannot initiate failure the body only becomes an instrument of execution listen if you learn this you will be delivered tonight that this body is only a slave to the most dominant spirit that influences it this is the first revelation the apostle is giving us that a body you see what you see physically right now to you you think this is a ministry but in the realm of the spirit there is a spiritual component that makes this happen are you hearing what i'm saying when you see someone healed or blessed or changed is is beyond what your eyes is seeing there is a spirit component that initiates that when a man gets up and tries to build a house and all he has is cement and that man is ready for frustration until he can bring the spirit component that will make that material project to work are you getting what i'm saying now anybody without a spirit will die a business without a spirit must die are you getting what i'm saying now a job without a spirit must die witches and wizards know this only believers do not know it there is no man no unbeliever no witch no no traditionalist will go and do anything physical without due consultation to the realm of the spirit because they understand that the physical is only an execution this is what david knew so when he saw goliath roaring i said forget about this guy this is a body without a spirit are you getting the point goliath was roaring and other people were crying and he said uh -uh, this is those who know will not be scared at all that roar and he said goliath i'm going to defeat you and goliath said am i a dog at least respect me you come to me with sling and david was trying to tell him mr man do you not know that the size of my body or my instrument is inconsequential for as long as there is a spirit backing and he says who is this uncircumcised circumcision is your key to attracting partnership from the realm of the spirit we are dealt with that right and i told you that your circumcision in the new testament is your tithe when joshua circumcised the nation of israel at once an angel appeared to him and he came to give him strategy he said i am i have come as a captain in other words he was also fighting he was a warrior but he was doing it spiritually How many pastors are trying to do ministry without the spirit component speaking english without the spirit component how many people want breakthrough want revivals no the body without the spirit is dead the second thing i want you to know is that the bible shows us that more than one spirit can influence a body that means a body can be a slave to the influences of more than one spirit for instance your human spirit and the holy spirit although they become one at new birth but it's only an example that this body that is a slave a mechanism for execution of the will of the spirit can be under multiple influences please listen to me we see that again and again in the bible we see peter being influenced by the spirit of god and being influenced by a demon spirit one moment the body is speaking thou art christ 
the son of the living God. Another moment, Jesus is rebuking from Peter. Get thee behind me. And he says, Satan, uh, Peter, Satan has desired to sift you. Is that not true? The Bible tells us that when Judas ate with Jesus, Satan entered him. So it was not just Judas that got up and went out. Listen, listen. There is no man, no man who does anything under the sun by pure bodily initiation. It's not true. It doesn't exist. The body cannot initiate anything. It only executes. Every initiation of anything comes from the realm of the spirit. Whether your human spirit, the Holy Spirit, a demon spirit. That means the key to bondage and the key to liberty is not locked up in the physical. It's locked up in the spirit. Since the body is an inevitable slave to whatever spirit, watch this. As I'm talking to you right now, you are seeing a body moving and talking. Is that not true? But you see, this body, well, don't mind this suit on it. It's just to, 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 to look decent. It's just for leadership and organization. That's why we put a cloth for this body. But the real person talking is the spirit man. This body is only executing it. Are you getting me now? And so if my body submits through my human spirit to the Holy Spirit, because the human spirit is the vehicle for submission. So the Holy Spirit in partnership with my human spirit can find expression if god wants to touch ken he now flows through my body and i speak it god is touching ken and i authorize the holy spirit through my body are you getting what i'm saying now and then he touches ken now watch this it is easy to know what spirit is influencing a man by what kind of physical activities are being executed are you getting what i'm saying now you get my teaching when you have a father who gets up and carries bottle no the body is only responding to a spirit the man thinks he's angry but there is a spirit that made him carry that bottle when he wipes your head with that bottle and breaks it and then he turns back and regrets he only executed the will of his spirit are you getting what i'm saying now when somebody sees a biro that is not his own or money that is not your own and you hide and you steal it no you did not steal you were made to steal a spirit influenced your body are you getting what i'm saying now when a lady gets up and cannot see a man and sit down in one place only following men all around don't just say this lady is a bad girl you are a stupid girl no her body is helplessly under the influence of a spirit flogging her is a waste of time because as soon as while you are flogging her the spirit jumps out have you seen armed robbers when they are about to shoot them you see all of them stand there as if they were not the ones that stole the spirits are hanging around in that firing squad waiting for the next victim they will land on and part of the onlookers who are looking with great pity the spirit lands on one of them and he goes home only to begin to execute something he does not understand are you getting the point now yes it is a spirit that will influence you into saying yes to a man who you know is a married man with his wife and he says i love you i love you you didn't even know when you said yes to you you thought you were just in love no you are a slave to a spirit that is leading you to perdition are you getting me human beings are not free until we ascertain that the only influence over their life is the holy spirit that becomes the key to walking in righteousness 
that becomes a key to walking based on the word of God because the Holy Spirit comes as a witness to the word how many parents how many families are under yokes of bondage and will only execute so you enter an exam hall the same spirit that can make you of quick intelligence now another spirit makes you blank out you know you read you know you did all you did i went to minister somewhere and um i heard a very touch touching testimony of a gentleman very intelligent and they called him you know for an interview a job interview and when he went there the panelists were happy they looked at his cv and they said yes can you tell us your name talk to us about yourself and why you think we should give you this job that gentleman stood there and he could not remember his name this is somebody who went to school no it's not that he could not remember his name the body a spirit shot the flow are you getting what i'm saying now you are Yahweh. You are seated on the throne. Ni marama. Ni marama. Ni marama. You are seated on. So when you see somebody well behaved, no, he's not well behaved. His spirit has submitted to the Holy Spirit and the body is finding expression. Listen, you can never call an unbeliever well behaved. You are joking. No. The spirit to trouble him is just on retreat. Let it come and you will watch that body helplessly under the influence. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now watch this. The same way a spirit can make a body fail, that's how the spirit can make any other physical thing fail. A spirit can come upon a building project and make it fail. Are you together? This, a spirit can come upon a man's CV and that CV becomes the body that that spirit is wearing and that CV starts executing what the spirit looks like. And anywhere you take that CV to, it cannot give you a job. It's not because the CV is not good. There is an influence that is producing that failure. A spirit can come upon the marital destiny of a lady. She may be born again tongue-talking. But a spirit can also influence dimensions of our lives. So that you will see a lady who loves God, very beautiful lady, loves God, but the moment a man looks at her and loves her, that spirit creates an impression, a bad impression. Listen, there are spirits upon ministries. Many of them may never listen and humble themselves to learn and grow. There are spirits that come upon ministries. Whoever hears about that ministry will misunderstand it. Have you seen ministries like that? consistently be misunderstood is a spirit bishop oyedeko shared with us how that this thing i mean this was a great man of god the church in kaduna was not growing people will come the next thing they will run away they were carrying all kinds of stories and then they were fasting with the brethren and the lord told him come out and he came out and he looked and he saw a dark cloud over the church a real church a true church the church of the lord jesus christ with people who are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. Are we following now? And he said, this is the dark cloud that is stopping people from coming to your church. It's making people to misunderstand what you are doing. And he commanded that dark cloud and it rolled away. And bam! Living faith opened till tomorrow. We are here tonight to challenge every force are you hearing what I'm saying? There are four things that Jesus did in his ministry. And any man who does not do these four things is not doing ministry like Jesus. Number one, Jesus preached the gospel. To preach means to declare. To preach means to proclaim. 
to preach means to announce are we together number two jesus taught don't say i'm not a teacher any man who can understand can teach because teaching is the litmus test to show that you have understood a thing anything you have understood you can teach it if you cannot teach it you have not gotten it so jesus taught number three jesus healed the sick don't forget this don't say i'm not called into the healing ministry jesus healed the sick number four jesus delivered the oppressed he casted out devils please let's be very careful so that in a bid to demonstrate spiritual maturity we do not come to a point where we get up and start um i now i know that i've been criticized already again and again so i want you to listen to me there are all kinds of teachings flying in the body of christ if you know me very well you know that i hate imbalance but it is very important that the scope the entire scope of the message jesus gave the church be preached jesus casted out devils and in mark chapter 16 verse 15 he said this he said this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils i'm not talking of deliverance that people do all kinds of madness and all of that but for you to ignore the fact that wrong spirits that influence people's lives need to be challenged is an error are you getting me now is what the bible calls old wives fables teachings that come and look as a consolation in the church but keep them down and keep them poor these spirits influence our lives and produce the outcomes that we see in our lives when you see an ordinary man anointed no it's not just the body that is anointed the body is only a channel are you getting me for the anointing to find expression the anointing is within the anointing is spiritual you came tonight with prayer requests you came tonight with challenges i want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing that's not a sign that you don't have faith it's a sign that you are in the world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the holy spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body but there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation yet they love god their bodies are helplessly executing pornography their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter yo it matters don't let anyone fool you it does it does matter then you lie down in the night to sleep and here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady sleeps with you some of you stand up with bedwetting you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened i i pretend i didn't see anything why are you deceiving ah nothing happened i'm okay and you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you and you come back and say no 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 i, I think there's something i'm not claiming look calm down 
and let the power of God set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um when you eat in in restaurants too much when you eat fried foods lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them. a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again i think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling i think the last time we had counseling one woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services so they came for counseling when they came for counseling i looked at the boy the mother was so slim and they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that and i looked at the boy and i said are you in occult the boy said yes i said who tied your mother he said me i said why now he said they asked him to do it i said go on loser who was there you were there lawrence i mean this guy so wonders that will not end the boy just went sat down on the ground carried mama's legs and started doing it like this then later he'll say remain small he's about to finish when the boy finished he got up now you would have you would have seen that and said this small boy but this boy is only a slave to a spirit when a child of five years old will not let the mother rest that coconut head is not the physical head there is a there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn are we together now slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time there is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you you become a magnet you never magnetize anything good if car is to jam people you are the one it will jam if police is to gather some people as suspects it's just when they are catching people you just come in they say follow them he say no 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 i attend koinonia they say go ahead, explain in the police station now you may laugh about it you may laugh about it every bad thing happens to you everyone laughs in the class but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say why did you laugh as if you are the only person and you were at the back listen that lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit is joining your heads together and so by coming to his office you now say you I, I don't you smile what is your name now you are entered another level of, of trouble humans victims to spirits that's what is happening in the earth I feel very sad when I see people they get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know listen they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution there is a spirit that is driving you when you see favor coming to a man no there is a spirit that makes it happen there is an operation there is an anointing are you getting me now you can just be sitting down and then God will speak to you. Carry 10,000 naira and give a maka. Why didn't God say somebody should give to you? There is something. It's not just that, okay, God has pity. No, 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 no. 
if you understand this you will know how easy it is to walk in victory you don't focus on this physical body you focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's when somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what i'm saying now as a pastor the day the anointing is strong upon your life that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program you stand and preach your life out and everybody say kai we have seen what what god is doing through you and uh, as a family we really appreciate uh, by god's grace next convention will not forget you i assure you and you stand up and go but someone else the day he's coming somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens the only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what everything of worth is planted are you getting what i'm saying favor does not just come a ministry does not just grow anointing doesn't just come revelation doesn't just come honor doesn't just come a man doesn't just become sick a man doesn't just become healed was it not in your bible listen that the trouble around daniel's life was the spirit of the medis and the persians is that not true it was happening physically through human beings but it was a spirit because he was under the influence of the, the, the Medes and the Persians. He was a spirit that made men to serve idols. And now a man came called Daniel. And he was praying. And his prayer was judging those spirits. And so they could not influence the king. And he made the king like Daniel. Are you getting me now? And the king's liking Daniel made him to subscribe to the God of Daniel. And those spirits said, no, we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and Daniel. So one day you get up and somebody comes. You, you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head. You and your destiny helper and left. It's not just that a neighbor came. A spirit visited your compound using human vessels. Jammed the head of two people and left all of you together. Are you getting what I'm saying now? A husband and a wife. Lovely people. Romeo and Juliet. The marriage is going well. All of a sudden a spirit lands in that house. And then something happens. A woman who has been minding her business. All of a sudden she looks at a text. And doesn't see it properly. And she thinks that she saw I love you to another woman. She carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something. And now enmity starts. And a lot of people sit down and say, you see, uh, just love yourself, just manage like that. Wait and see the part two of that movie. The Holy Spirit, I mean, the, a demon spirit will come again into the house. Something will happen. That demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job. Are you getting the point now? He will return back home with the anger of his job. That spirit, the same spirit, will start making the woman angry and be impatient. So her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office. What does it produce? Divorce. That's the name. At the end of it, the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life 
not working the way God orchestrated. Don't sit down and discuss. Get into the place of prayer immediately. There is war happening in the heavenlies. There is a clash of spirits. They are claiming your body. Listen. Do you know that when Moses died, watch this. When Michael came to carry the body of Moses, he found Satan too. Satan wanted to use the body of Moses, enter it and resurrect as Moses. Are you getting the point now? Resurrect as Moses and start bringing error to people. And he needed the body desperately. And Michael said, no, 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 I'm not going to drag with you. The Lord rebuked you. How many people saw your mother in a dream? A spirit carried the face of your innocent mother, landed it in the dream of her enemy, and she got up and said, I knew it. I knew it. Joshua Selman's mother is a witch. This one, I saw it. The woman came with a knife. How many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards? And, and this is what many prophets see. And because they do not have discernment, are you getting the point now? They now say, I saw who, some, this and that and that and that. Is it not in your Bible when a, a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of Samuel to prophesy? I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life. I, I, I don't have time for that. I cannot be a victim for the, the failure that is orchestrated. Look at Job. One more scripture to prove this to you. Job. A man who loved God and eschewed evil. But the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens. Job was not there. Oh. A man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you. Your children are on the way. Thunder strikes them. You just finished furnishing your house. Thunder strikes it. Your cattle die mysteriously. Notice all the deaths that happened. There was one, one people left to come and testify. Is that a testimony? Job! I'm the only one who is alive. This is what happened. And then the meeting was held again. And he said, let's touch his body. Ah. So a meeting can happen. Watch this. Let's destroy this family. And they conclude it. You snore your way through the morning. Wake up. And that's the last time you know peace in a long time. You are a victim. Your body is only a victim. Tonight, this is, the, this is the theme of this miracle service. Let me tell you. When these spirits clear out of the way, you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you. All of a sudden, you who nobody would call you, you will receive a call. The last time you spoke with that person was five years. He did just call you. The Holy Ghost made it happen. Because there was a spirit that was stopping that call. Every time they want to think about you, a distraction happens. And you remain in that suffering. And when you come to us men of God, we say, it's okay. Don't worry, things will change. One day it will go better. That, 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 no, 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 no. That's why I told you, you must insist tonight. You must insist. You are mighty on your throne. Two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Hadosh, Hadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation. Listen, a man can wear the inner wares of a woman. Watch this. And be moving on the street. And that man returns back and blessings keep following him. A very stupid man, but good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. 
there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him at the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that i need to no no sit down pastor for me I promise you can come come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and Ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this my footsteps what will he do he will run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hits the people from the government down 
they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse 6 ye are god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience deuteronomy when you read i think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that i command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God nothing happens no it's not about God doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the Old Testament those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other? That does not mean you are not born again. That does not mean you are not serious with God. But it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say, no way. I come by the blood. I come to challenge these things. There are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life. Somebody buys a recharge card to give you, it disappears physically. That's, that's the extent to which this thing is working against you. Have you seen people like that? A guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him 
his friend now comes and says Thor, since my friend has come me too I love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land I know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the, in the, in the land. True, true story. Because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it. Gave him a slap. When, listen, when I was in secondary school, we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site. That temporal site used to be a hospital. Are you getting the point? Where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen. I tell you, many students had encounters with strange beings. You are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds. Sounds that can give you a headache for a long time. I remember our school getting ultimate power so that we will watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this, this nonsense. Many students were initiated into occultism because of that. But tonight, we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. That this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy, mommy, sisters and brothers, there is need to deal with certain things in our lives. I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God. Coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background. Your name can be Solomon. You will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed. That's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance. Listen, as we begin to pray, many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone. Really, when you understand this, you will know what a miracle is. A miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs. This is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose. Loose? He didn't say thou art healed. He said thou art loose. The moment the spirit left, he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body. And there she went. Remember that madman at gathering? That was an evangelist in a cave. Tearing himself into pieces. The moment the spirits heard that Jesus was coming, they were waiting for him at the other side. Hallelujah. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying. Praying seriously, I was in the spirit. And I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to where I stay. And I didn't see that tree again. I just saw a great beast like, like, a, like a being. The tail was a snake. The eyes were big like human head. Imagine this head now like an eye. Two of them. One here, one here. And the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger. And all he told me is, so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity. And then it left. That was it. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. That's the reason why every time Satan wants to destroy you, the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person. So your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me. And Satan will say, Amen. Let's go. And then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say, help me. Tonight we are going to cry to the King of Kings. I don't know if you came for this miracle service, especially for those who are family people here. You should never go back the same. 
you see the results of people 4.8 5 points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and we sing it one more time. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your 
One more time with faith in your spirit. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation. Is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempt to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Just the voices, sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft. Any generational cost. One more time, sing it. That conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Same power. Love your love, say your love that rescued the earth is in me, is in me. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it. Say it must stop tonight. Lift your voice. Oh, come on, Koinonia, you should be praying. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit behind failures. Challenge the spirit 
behind marital delays. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to affect the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. It must change, it must change, it must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? 
Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three i command covens i command altars i command spirits bring them out fire fire brings deliverance tonight hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people vomiting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata shaka ta 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 mare tende tepa father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we are victim one two three shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 a protos mokotos lekotos pronto tokote eriakata he must let you go he must let you go you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you. 
to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now it must leave you now hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am a, i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no i'm in christ i'm in christ i'm in christ i'm in christ Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles 
Miracles right now. Miracles right now. Miracles are happening right now. I'm seeing somebody. Listen. There is a growth. You came here with the growth at the back of your neck. Check it now. It has disappeared. Check it now. Now. And make your way to the front. Put your hand there and check it. You will find out that that growth is gone. Completely. I'm seeing two holes. Two holes of a left teeth being healed. Right now. Check it. You won't find the hole again. Two holes. Two holes of your teeth. Check it right now and make your way to the front. My goodness. God is doing miracles in this place. There are miracles that are happening. Miracles that are happening. I saw this same case in Kaduna this morning. Now, I'm seeing four people. Four people. There is one guy and three ladies. You have pile. Pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself. It's as if you are giving birth. Blood comes out. Go and check yourself now. You find out that that pile is gone. Gone back to the devil. Go and check it, please. Please, we are not playing games. Don't sit back. Confirm your miracle and seal it. I know there is a guy. I saw a guy. Pile. Severe pile. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. Tears just start coming out of your eyes. Without any... You are not crying. But it just starts coming out. It's very embarrassing. It starts coming out. Right now, the Lord is healing you. Wherever you are, confirm it and make your way to the front right now. Confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now. Right now. Confirm it and make your way to the front. We'll give all of them room to testify. God is healing people right now. I'm seeing someone with this finger. Look at me. This finger. This very finger. That's what the Lord is showing me. There is a miracle happening on that finger. This very one. I don't know if it broke or something happened to it. But there is a miracle happening to that finger right now. Right now. I'm hearing a name. Gabriel. 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 Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. 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 The Lord is bringing a, a miracle for Gabriel. Gabriel. I've been fighting this name, but let me bring it out. I'm hearing a name, Asabe. I don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family. Asabe. Asabe, I'm hearing that name. Who is Asabe? Please confirm. Make sure you confirm it. Let's not. Huh? You are Asabe? Uh, but I'm seeing another person again. No, oh. eh? this you are. Please stand here. Miracles everywhere. Come, tell us very quickly. Come, come. Please help us. Give Aaron. Let's let's coordinate them. Okay, come, sir. Let's just listen to this. Give them the mic, Lawrence. Just testify. Tell us. Look at the crowd. Straight to the point. What happened to you? What is the miracle? Praise the Lord. I am the girl whom the man of God prophesied. I have an irritation in my nose since 2012. 2012? Yes. And now what happened? Every day, once I put my hand, I, I always notice blood coming out. But now, I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free! Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people, let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus While we are confession. talking, there is a lady who will come strongly confession. under the anointing outside. Please pick that lady and bring her. Hallelujah. As we are talking, the power of God is, in fact, two ladies. Two ladies outside, mightily by the anointing. Please pick them and bring them. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. On my left thigh, I have this burning sensation. I don't even know what cause, but I know that once it starts, it burns me as if I'm sitting on fire. Okay. But now it's gone. And since last hearing this voice saying I will die, even when I was coming last week, I had this fear that I was going to... But right now, it's gone. completely gone. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Yes, please. Check yourself. If you see a miracle, you can come out. 
we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down Praise yes the Lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god while he was preaching i was having peptic ulcer so peptic ulcer out, but while we started praying it left me and there's I one more outside go and carry her Jesus. It left me immediately. Now I'm not feeling it again. No pain again. Give Jesus praise. Yes, ma'am. Praise the, praise the Lord. I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But um, when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise let me pray for you it never returns to you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone with an eye problem i don't know what the eye problem is but it's living right now please confirm yourself eye problem check it check it we are not playing games please check it check it eye problems i'm seeing a miracle happening right now eye problem confirm it and come out right now i'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case at least 10 like the lower abdominal region right here you've been having se severe pain it's like something pulls you there check it right now you'll find out that you receive a miracle at least 10 people please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of god will come upon you as a witness to that lord where is that lady right now where is that lady identify her oh god by the power of god right now right now right now please bring the lady out god is healing her mother right at home and god is using what is happening as as a point of contact as a point of contact i'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump i'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly Please loud and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Help I us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have this pen down my stomach here, but now I'm, I'm not feeling completely pain. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? Come on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. 
Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My name is like I'm pregnant. It's to come like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relieved and my stomach is In fact, up. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost... Is even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff and it's you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now god is giving you a miracle god is giving you a miracle god bless you bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so i now shout the stomach used to pay me even before i come to zaria but i can't feel it again. completely Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eye gets blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. Praise Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance. And Complete deliverance. Please help them so that they don't fall on, on. Praise the Lord. The abdominal pain normally comes and goes. And when I was outside, I was still feeling my stomach hooking such that I could not stand well. I was bending. And then when the man of God spoke, I got up and stretched and to the glory Completely of the Lord. Completely no pain again. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord. Mine is more of um, creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time. And it's, it happens that every time I try to push further, I realize that there are a lot of setbacks, distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what has right happened? now when at the mention of the name jesus i felt my body on fire i can't really understand what was going on on fire a restoration yes. of that creativity yes, co sir. comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the lord jesus amen. christ amen and amen god bless you praise the lord i came here with a severe eye eating at a shout of jesus everything just wiped out completely. believe me that name works <laughs> Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain in pain. the joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. Yes. And now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, where you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. The power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there's this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when... Um, you mentioned the case. I was not too sure if I was the one. But later you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I noticed like the swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah. And I now feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay Completely gone. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. For the spirit of fear, as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name. The of spirit of fear. Come, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, praise please. the Lord. I want to 
I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child when, when I was when I was young. I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month. This is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced, I I've saw been that shaking, a, a, a I've finger. Been shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama is on as I make her door, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming on, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her, please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that when a word comes like it it comes to give you liberty hold my hands father in the name of jesus i end this oppression in this family right now it goes forever in the name of jesus who has an elder brother who has an elder brother do you, do you have an elder brother yes. what is he doing he's a carpenter he's a carpenter yes the person i'm i'm talking about didn't go to school though is your brother he's, where is he he's in the village he's in the village God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia that the Lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyo. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyo. I'm hearing the name, Titi Lyo. Titi Lyo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir, it won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is no word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long write it down you will come back and testify before them it's not a disadvantage it's something that will bless you in no small way because you have come with your heart open in the name of the lord jesus christ father i lay my hands i pray right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear breakthrough for you sir this is what i hear the lord is saying i should announce breakthrough to you father i hold his hands and i announce breakthrough in jesus name Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Cardinal. What's she doing? She's schooling at Cardinal. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? 
KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her, is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then, don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. The power and love our God is an awesome God. Our God Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do might, you do glory, you do glory, you are a faithful God, awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Who's your dad? Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. Breathe well, and at the same time, he's having problems with my man. None of his children look at him except me. He's 
same problem that mama is having that is painful. It's just similar thing. We are eight. Yeah. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your name, oh God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe? Listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That, do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Madam is saying, sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village, now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them several souls. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. Yes, this is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jaham, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law that he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it go in this place. If you know you smoke it go or codeine, altar, once I make the altar call, just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is here. out
out.
Request right now. At the same time, an altar call is co- as an altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to. Now is the time. You can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family. And any other person, there are those who are saying, "Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is." I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking. You will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department. And um, will fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them, everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute. Please, everybody, rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying 
Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence every spirit responsible for barrenness here yeah. responsible for any setback in the name of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it lord let your people have testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ and you will stand to testify before the people of god in the name of jesus christ i pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy i decree and i declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion i arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of jesus christ for those who are students i pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the lord jesus christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now please believe me as i pray we release those jobs right now in the name of the lord jesus christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions 
whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence i cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international mm -hmm. you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ 
thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you'll have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 